man. In the beginning, it felt like we were going to hit the music early tonight. But of course, with the Knicks, Al, nothing can come easy. Because after taking an 18-point lead into the third quarter, the Knicks would find themselves in a dogfight. Because these Raptors came to life, locked up the Knicks in a zone. Malachi Flynn starts popping off. Gary Trent starts popping off. And ultimately, Al, we would find ourselves down in the fourth quarter, actually trailing. So who will we go to to get us some buckets? We had Alec Burks coming in the fourth quarter. He was stumbling and bumbling to the finish. No point guard. We need a point guard. We know that. Julius did his best to lose it for us. But in the end, he made the right pass. And where did he go to? Of course, he goes to number nine to save us once again against his hometown team. R.J. Barrett would once again deliver for these Knicks, put some respect on his name. Three for six from downtown, seven to 12 from the field, 19 points and five dimes. R.J. saved us from ourselves and got us a W, man. Knicks win 102 to 96. Even it up at 500. Salute to everybody in the chat. Hit that thumbs up button for your boys. CP, Alex Rataros, the Tratter Cast in here. This is Knicks Post Game Live, presented by Manscaped. Number one show for the fans by the fans. CK's off tonight. Ashley is uh, on her way back from SNY. Al, I, I thought for the first time in NBA history you would have an actual draw, an actual tie game, because <laughs> it just did not seem like either team wanted to win this game, bro. It did not seem like either team wanted to win this game, man. Give me some thoughts, man. Oh, my God, man. You thought this was going to be an easy one? <laughs> Knicks never make it easy, man. Never my easy, God. bro. Never we easy, had eight, We had an 18-point lead, and then we lose it, and you let the Raptors go up by, like, somewhere between uh, five to seven points. Yeah. It's, like, in the third going into the fourth. Like, what's what's going on? What's going on here, man? Like, nothing. As you always say, it's cardiac Knicks, cardiac but thankfully Knicks, we were able to bro. pull it out. Randall came to life. RJ, you know, honestly, I think after RJ heard what Anthony Edwards had to say about him yeah. not want, take, taking the last enough shot, is enough. he's just been playing on a whole yeah. other level, being clutch, being a closer, everything you want out of this kid. He is the right corner three god. Mm -hmm. Just everything. Every time he hits that shot, beautiful, man. Beautiful yeah. shot, beautiful form. But ultimately, Knicks win it. It was a nail biter. It feels. Like, I don't know why we can't just have like a simple game and just come in back. On a Sunday, oh, man. man. We, we I was, I was just one. trying to we relax, just bro. One. I was just trying to relax on this Sunday. You know what I mean? I had the the inhaler locked in the drawer. I didn't take out the <laughs> the, the pacemaker was locked away. I thought I was just gonna coast on this Sunday. It was a beautiful day outside. Man, oh man, can't make it easy. You had the Raptors who played in Cleveland last night, flew into town. Gary Trent had a monster game last night, forty four points. So I was concerned about him. And he would turn it up in that third quarter. I don't know what happened to Siakam. He fell all the way off a cliff, but that's another story. That's their problem. In the third, you know, Knicks had it coasting, bro. Knicks, Knicks were coasting. The ball movement was crispy in the in the in the mm -hmm. first half. You had RJ and Julius sporting new hairdos. It was, it was New Year, New Me type of style. You know, they were styling out on him out there. The ball movement was crispy. Noel was in his bag from beginning to end. Let's give him credit there. Noel was definitely Absolutely. patrolling the paint and holding it down for us. And the defense was clicking. We had an 18-point lead going into the third quarter, bro. But the Raptors turned on the switch, our Achilles heel, our kryptonite, and that is the zone. And they mixed it up. They went 2-3. They went 1-3-1. One, one. They went 1-2-2 two, two sometimes, or maybe a box one. I don't, I don't remember, remember which one that was. But they gave mm -hmm. us different looks and, and stymied our ball movement. Everything just completely stopped. We stopped moving the ball. We missed a ton of open shots too, bro. Let, let's be real. We left a ton of open shots out there. For some reason, we just can't knock down shots against this team. Wide open looks we, we missed. Between, yeah, I, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, bro. No, no, it was just, you know, that third quarter, as you talk about, once they went zone, and you saw, you saw Derrick Rose just chucking up shots and just trying to get his yeah. own thing, not really swinging the ball anymore. Same thing with Julius when he came back out on the floor. And then on top of that, in the fourth quarter, like we took too long to get to get the ball to RJ Barrett. 
there's a lot of like it gets to a lot of ISO play once it gets to the third quarter with this team. I don't know if it's just gassed or yeah. once you just start seeing the zone, they just don't know what to do and how to attack it. Just they they are they are reluctant to take that foul on like that 15 foot jumper, which will help break it. And it just leads to the same issues we have every single game, which is why we just cut have to why we always get into these deficits, man. Always and we have these close games where we don't need to have these close games. Always, it, it's always. So frustrating. Man. And I mean, is is there anyone whose shots at the rim is more snake bitten than Derrick Rose, bro? I'm talking about almost all his looks, <laughs> either rim in and out. I mean, they, they mm-hmm. go down, drop back out, but but D Rose just has a problem finishing. Uh, he didn't really have a good go tonight. Burks, you know, we tried to close with Burks at the point. Right to to the Peyton detractors, your, your coach is is trying to get you there. He's trying to get us to the finish line with some more shooting and floor spacing. He had Burks out there, not a natural point guard, but he can still you know get it done. You know he threw it threw it away a couple times, couple bad decisions that he made. Uh, he had one good look where he found Julius on the baseline cut, which was great, and that uh, you know gave us some space. RJ did find Burks for a three pointer with three minutes left to put us up five. And then, uh, and then you know, Julius found RJ there for for the three to to basically seal it. But man, th- this was an absolute disaster, bro! <laughs> absolute disaster. I didn't think any team really, either team really, was looking to win this game, man. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. honestly. Nah, it looked like that. Absolutely, I just I don't get it. I, I thought it was all over once Alec Burks turned it over and Pascal Siakam. Yeah. Thankfully, Pascal double dribbled. Yes. Two double dribbles in one game. Two one double by- dribbles in one game, bro. One by Reggie going down. I'm like, what are you? Yeah. Do- it was a three on one. What are you doing? Just you could just swing it around, and then Siakam just bailed us out. So, thank God for that. So. Thank God, bro. I don't know what happened to Siakam, bro. He he went from being like rising star to to kind of average, man. I'm not sure what's going on with him this year. You know what I mean? I'm not sure what's yeah. going on with him. Go ahead, bro. No, I think I think what's going on with him is that you had him. He was in the COVID protocol. Uh, Rebecca was talking about last uh, earlier tonight where mm-hmm. he lost weight and he, he's playing quicker, but he wants to put on more muscle because he likes to be, he likes to use his body when he gets into the paint and just to be a little bit more physical and he can't. And I think he's just trying to recover. And, you know, you hear about the whole Nick nurse situation where they got into a whole argument earlier this year. So I think there's just some old animosity and like everyone's trying to figure themselves out as yeah. the season's going on. They're also living in Tampa and still trying to figure that out as well. It's not, it can't be easy for them when you're used to playing in Toronto. And yeah. now you're down in Tampa. You, some of them have their families down there with them. Some of them don't. And it's just a whole different routine. So yeah. I think all of that with this season going on, I think that's why, but Hey, I'll take that double yeah. dribble though. That's all yeah, that matters. I'll take, it. I'll take it because <laughs> up, up to with 11 seconds left, Alec Burks turns the ball over and it gets into Siakam's hands, who pushes it up the court and double dribbles. Julius gets the uh, the inbound on the next possession, gets fouled, and makes both of his free throws. So, <laughs> it's a completely lucky win, man. Luck, lucky to get out of there, man. Because this was an important game, bro. This was a very important game. This is a team that, yes, the Raptors are, are out of the 10th spot, but they're still fighting. And, and you can't count them out because I still feel like even, they were shorthanded tonight. There was no Van Fleet, no OG. No uh, uh, Barnes, which was which was even more reason why the Knicks should have put these guys away early, especially mm-hmm. the fact that they got the Lakers coming in tomorrow on a back to back. But you know they're, they're fighting with the Raptors for that spot, and you have all these other teams in the East. I mean, again, four through ten is is a dog fight. You cannot leave these opportunities out there when you have a team on the second night of a back to back, shorthanded, having a lousy season, trying to come in here and and uh and and take a win from you. You just can't have that if you're going to make the playoffs. You can't have it, bro. You can't have it at all. Look, we've been two games in a row we've been lucky, right? Even when against Memphis, they weren't hitting their free throws down the stretch, giving us the capability to come back in that game. I don't know what's going on with this team. We're getting the wins, which is good because it's going to help us with this playoff push that we're going through right now, obviously, but we can't be playing like this. We can't have the third quarter doom. I thought we were past that. Clearly we're not. And it's just rough. It's just, it will be a rough sweat, like sweating until the end of the season. If every single game is going to come down to the wire with losing, uh, just blowing leads in the third quarter and then having to dig your way out in the fourth quarter. That's not like, this is where good teams can just maintain leads and just, coast especially yeah. when you don't especially when your opponent doesn't have OG Ananobi they don't have Fred Van Vliet as you right. pointed out 
You're, they're down. They're down guys. They're down two of their t- their starters. Big time. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense how you allow these guys to to stay in it. So yeah. But end of the day, a win's a win. Move on to the next one. Hopefully they can clean some stuff up. Got the Lakers tomorrow, as you pointed out. You saw what they did to the Nets. Yeah. I don't know which team's going to show up to, uh, tomorrow. Whether uh, Horton uh, is, is going to be on his game, how is Drummond going to play? It, it's going to be a Mac Lamar play well. Sure. Yeah, yeah. You know that that Laker team. They've been trying to search for a consistent offense, but their defense has been carrying them since LeBron went down. So we we definitely uh, are going to be in for another tough fight, man. They they play tough regardless of who's on the court. You know, Caruso balls out. They still got uh, KCP. They you know West Matthews and things like that. So we'll, we'll definitely touch on that later on. Um, but you know, to this game, uh, Trent was the guy I was looking for. He he ended up starting to starting to turn up in that third quarter, finished with twenty three points. So that had me a bit nervous. And then I was looking, I saw the Flynn matchup on Rose. I was like, ah, I don't really like this. You know, Rose breaks down later on in the games, and defensively, he's a he's a bit of a, a wild card, and he can be had. And, and Malachi Flynn had a couple nice moves on him, and and uh, gave the Raptors that momentum. You know, Flynn and, and Trent really gave the Raptors the, mom- the momentum late in the third. And, and like you said, we were down by seven points, bro. And uh, luckily, they took away one, that one of the th- mm-hmm. the Flynn three-pointers because they said that he stepped out of bounds. I didn't even know that, that they could review that after that was done. I didn't even know that that was a reviewable play. I didn't know that either. And then when I even saw it, you know, I, they had to really freeze frame it and like zoom in to see that his heel was on the line. Yeah. Because the, fir- the first go through, I was like, yeah, this is another questionable call by the refs, but it looks like he's in, but thanks. But then you look back at it, he did touch the line, but hey, I'll, I'll, I'll take anything yeah. to get this to get this going. And I think the biggest thing, though, for like the Knicks to get through this is, you know, New Orleans Noel's defense, getting those block shots, is make, making everything diff- difficult. You know, got to give a little shout out to Alfred Payton with five for seven for t- today. Yeah. You know, you mentioned it where you... Tibbs is, he might be listening to the fans and hearing that we want Alec Burks, another person, another player playing point, but Payne came out, was pretty efficient tonight. The way he was attacking the rim, helping, getting the ball moving. He had that nice find for RJ uh, in, uh, just below the foul line for mm-hmm. that easy land. So he, we got some good 17, we got a good 17 minutes out of Burks tonight. And then Randall, Randall had his uh, 17 point. minutes out of Payton, out of Payton, you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. 17, no, we'll go, 17 we'll minutes out of pain. Yeah. Um, but you know, Randall tonight, something's been up with Randall, man. I don't it's since that injury, he hasn't been playing like himself. Mm-hmm. Like he's one for, he was one for eight from three. And ever since that injury, he's been he's in the low 30, 30 uh percentage when it comes to three three point. Uh yeah, I think just before today he was like thirty two and a half percent. It's gotta drop now from going one for eight for three. Mm-hmm. You see that there's something going on, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he's still playing hurt, but you can see that he's not playing with the same vigor that he has at the beginning of the season and just right after the all-star break, yeah. too. But we got enough out of him to help as well. Yeah, I agree. I think I, I like this energy to start the game. Uh, you know, he came in with the Travis Scott braids. You know, he's feeling it. He, he, he knows the fans <laughs> know that, you know, when, when he gets the braids and he's trying to turn it up a little bit. I like this energy. Decision making was just wasn't good, especially late in the game. You know, they, they called him in uh, in some double teams and, and uh, forced a couple turnovers on him. So his decision making wasn't that great. And then, uh, you know, he did find RJ late. You know, luckily he found RJ late in the game to uh, to really seal it. But overall, he, he's just got to make quicker decisions, especially when the pressure comes and the double teams come and so on and so forth. He, he's just got to get the ball out of his hands a lot faster. Absolutely. And I think tonight, something that, you know, for us, the second unit usually plays a lot better than they did. They did. Like yeah. Derek Rose, four for 10, you pointed out earlier. Burks, like he, he had Burks wasn't, shots going well, Overall, he wasn't great tonight. Yeah, but overall, he wasn't great going two for nine from the field quickly. We only got one for eight, one for six from the three. Yeah. And then we had a knock sighting. Meh, didn't do much. Toppin, yeah. I thought he was about to slam that one Yo, down. I was about to get hyped. If Woo! Obi caught that one-handed alley on the dude that Anthony Edwards outlined in chalk, I don't know if that kid could have made it back to the <laughs> league, man. It's catching two bodies in one year like that. That would have been rough. And Obi Wan would have been worse than Edwards, I think. You know what I mean? But uh, he, as you said, Tibbs did go Kev 
when that zone was killing us because we we needed some sort of shooting out there. Now, Kev, uh, I didn't, I don't think he got a shot attempt off, but he did get to the free throw line and, and went one for two. So mm-hmm. at least you give Tibbs a little bit of credit for not, you know, forcing Obi in there when we needed more shooting and got Kevin there. I just you, you wish you wish all these you wish I, at least I wish that Kev could get more consistent minutes, uh, especially when we need the shooting out of the zone uh, for earlier than than later. Yeah, and I think part of it is also that Tibbs is trying to still. I know we're more than halfway through the season. I think he's still trying to like kind of gauge what to do with this roster. Yeah. I mean, there was no true like off season training camp. You know, everything was condensed. There's not a lot of practices, as Randall pointed out in that uh, JJ Reddick podcast. So just trying to get everyone in and trying to get everyone in the right situation with limited training and limited practice time. I think it's a rough situation just to put that all in perspective. But I would like to see Knox to get a little bit more time because he does have a good three ball. And when we have a zone, why not just go to someone who can shoot instead yeah. of Obi Toppin just moonballing a lot of these shots. Some of that can actually connect. I agree. Uh, Knox should be getting a little bit more time. We should just see, like, especially when it comes to transition too, because he can run, he can do all those things. Agreed. I get it that I get it that Toppin is the this new regime's pick and they want to make him a priority in development. But in games like this, it was good to see Tibbs switch it up a little bit. It's Great. nice. Hopefully we get more of that moving forward. Hopefully. We're going to get Ashley in here. And let's get back to the phones. Angel from Philly. Angel, what's going on, bro? I'm good. Uh, first thing first, man. Hit that thumbs up for your boys, yeah. man. Stop oh, playing and hit that thumbs up. De- definitely, man. I'm uh, definitely just want to give you guys an extra shout out as well. Because, you know, earlier Ryan Artest was on the show. So, Definitely got to show some love to Metal yeah. World Peace, man. Thank you guys for the opportunity. Uh, I'm not going to lie, bro. You know, I'm 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 so thrilled that we won this game, man. You know, like that 40 to 50 run by Toronto just had me pulling the, the hair off my head, bro. I mean, I was just like, man, what is going on? We got these dudes right where we want them. And, you know, um, it, it shouldn't have been as hard, man. It shouldn't have been as hard. But you know what? This is the new Knicks, man. The old Knicks would have gave up that <laughs> game and just got blown off the floor. But obviously, you know, um, this is the gritty Knicks, man. You know, we play hard no matter what, whether we winning or whether we down four points. Um, it was definitely um, good to just see us come back and win this game. But um, I thought the three keys to this game obviously was Noel's defense because, I mean, like he just did his thing, man, you know, and – I thought, uh, you know, at the end of the game, you know, with uh, Burks hitting that timely shot, with uh, RJ passing him that ball, I thought that was clutch, man, because we needed that shot. Yeah. And, um, you know, in the end, bro, like RJ Barrett, nine guy, hitting that three, man, you can just tell his confidence has grown. Big time. You can tell that he wants it. And it, it it's just so good to see him hitting those buckets, man, because he deserves it. And, you know, in the end, you know, it wasn't pretty. But, you know, the fact is, is that we won. You know, we got Lakers. the Lakers coming in tomorrow. And I hope we beat them too, man. So, therefore, when you go on that Matt Kellerman show, you can throw it in his face. I need some well, ammo. Bro. I need some but, ammo. Listen, Facts. <laughs> right. But thanks for taking my call. I know you got some callers, man. I appreciate you guys. And, uh, and y'all have a good night, man. Appreciate you, bro. They appreciate it, Angel. Angel came through. Double duty today, Ash. Angel came through. He was chopping it up with Meta World Peace. He, he was part of the team t- t- tonight. You know what he I mean? was. I think I don't think he saw me though, because he didn't say hi. Yeah, so. facts. Oof. I mean, jeez, Angel. <laughs> oh, Angel's oh, what got straight. Oh, he's still on the line. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we thought we lost him. <laughs> Angel, what's going on, man? Hey, listen. Um, I actually got you guys on the phone. I, I couldn't even see that my future wife was on the show. I'm so sorry, Ashley. You know I'm always gonna show you love. You know, me and Marlon, you know you're my queen. You know, you're the queen of Philly, queen of New York, and you're the queen of MIA. So, you know, of course, you know, I I would never do you like that. So, you know, I definitely got to show you love as well. And um, you. obviously, you know, you know I'm proud of you too, you know. So don't don't ever think I would ever do you wrong like that. You know that's how I roll. But, uh, <laughs> bro. But And I know, I think you was on SNY as well. So I'm going to definitely Facts. watch that as well. Right. Show you some love yeah. as well. No doubt. No doubt, bro. Appreciate the call, man. All right, back to the phones we go. DJ from Staten Island, what's going on, bro? Yo, hit that thumbs up button for you. All day. I, listen, before I even go to the game, I just want to say, Ashley, that that dude, King Simp, like I might have to, he might have, he might need a new nickname, like Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Simp. 
God sip, something of that nature. But I just, I, I just want to say, besides oh, that, Angel 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 Angel. Angel. I got no people, no Angel, but dang, man. Anyway, back to the game. Um, I don't know what happened to Siakam. It's funny that earlier this season he was arguing with Nick Nurse because, my God, he fell off a cliff after Kawhi yeah. left. And I just really I just really want to talk about RJ. I just want to talk about RJ. The kid sure. is only 20 years old. Right now, if you look at the stats, the last five games, this kid is shooting on a different planet right now. Like, he's – shout out Anthony Edwards. He's trending on Twitter. Yeah. And it's not because of anything he did. <laughs> it's not because of anything he did. I just can't wait. Like, I hope you saw all the management, the Nick management after the game. They, that, you know, they, they right there. I hope they really commit to this kid because it's, I can see it now, and I'm not calling him hard and light, but if you give this oh. kid some shooting when he gets older, the floor, if you, if you open up the floor and give him the lanes, he can make it happen, and he's built for this. That's what people don't understand. When you're in New York, you got to be built to withstand all adversity. And built is, for it, bro. I don't know why they're not getting his respect, but when you go on Max Kellerman, yo, CP, when you go on Max Kellerman, just make it about an R.J. Barrett show. <laughs> 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 <laughs>